Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the HPE ProLiant DL360P Gen 8 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. So let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360P Gen 8 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Now, this video will be specifically dedicated towards drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. So what we're gonna do in this video as a whole is we're gonna cover the different types of compatible interfaces, the max speeds and max sizes for those different types. And then we're gonna show you how to actually install it, which is super easy because they're a hot plugin. And at the end, we're gonna show you a cool tool that we like called HD Sentinel. So let's hop into the fun stuff. All right, so what drives are compatible with your ProLine? Gen 8 server. Well, you're going to have SATA hard drives, SAS hard drives, SATA solid state drives, and SAS solid state drives. Those are going to be the four types of compatible drives. No, unfortunately, uh, NVMe is not going to work. You cannot pop an NVMe uh, into the backplane, and there is no uh, converter kit or adapter or something to make it work. Uh, so NVMe is not going to work um, on the backplane. So those are going to be your four choices. So what speeds do you get with those choices? So for a SATA hard drive, you get 7.2K RPM. That's what you're going to get. With a SAS hard drive, it's going to be a little bit faster. You can get 7.2K, 10K, or up to 15K. Now, I will note, especially since this is an older system, that a used 15K SAS drive, you got to think it's going around 15,000 times a minute. The ball bearings are going to wear out over time. So I would keep a spare in stock because they are known and prevalent to fail. All right, what about a SATA solid state drive? Well, with a SATA solid state drive, you can get six gigabit per second. And with a SAS solid state drive, you can get 12 gigabit per second. So that's going to be the real advantage of a SAS solid state drive is it's going to be faster overall. And all right, so now we know a little bit more about the speeds. Let's talk about the sizes. Well, the sizes depend on the form factor of your chassis. If your chassis is a 2.5 inch or a small form factor for a SATA hard drive, what HP spec sheet is going to show is two terabytes. And that's the most that we've put in. I wouldn't be surprised if someone drops a comment down below and says that they've put in four terabytes or something higher. The most we've put in and played around with on these is two terabytes. With SAS hard drives, uh, HP spec sheet is going to show 1.8. We've put in 2.4. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if someone uh, drops a comment below and says that they've put in something higher. Uh, now, when you go to uh, the large form factors, that's where it gets a little bit different. Both so, uh, show six terabytes for SATA or SAS hard drives on HP spec sheet. We've put in 12 20 terabytes for both. And I wouldn't be surprised if someone's dropped in 22. Um, so those are, uh, again, older information on the spec sheet. And that was one of the reasons we wanted to do this video, even though this is an older system to let people know that yes, you can go off spec from the spec sheet and you can put in larger drives overall. All right, so what about the solid state drives? For a SATA solid state drive, HPE spec sheet only shows 1.6 terabytes. That's definitely not accurate. I mean, maybe back in the day it was, uh, but right now you can put in a 7.68 terabyte and it's going to show for SAS only two terabytes for a SAS solid state drive. We've put in 15.3. So yes, you can definitely go much, much higher overall. And again, NVMe isn't compatible. All right, so now we know a little bit more about the different compatible types, the speeds, the sizes. Let's go ahead and show you how to physically install them, which is super easy because they're hot plug-in. And then at the end, we'll show you how to test. All right, I have my ESD gear on. We're safe to work on our machine. So again, this is going to be a really easy install. So we're going to remove our old... 300 gig SAS drive. So you just push the red button and you pull out the tray and you'll see this is an old 300 gig 10K SAS drive, which, which is great back in the day, but we are going to upgrade both of these to solid state drives, which are gonna be faster and more reliable. One of the things we always say that are a, a good upgrade to extend the life of an older machine like the Gen 8. So just open your tray and slide it in. And when you get right here, it'll hook on and you just push it and clip it closed. It's very, very easy. Um, I did want to note uh, that you will notice that with uh, our trays, you are getting the connector, of course. So you're going to get the appropriate setup. So if you go to our website to order solid state drive upgrades, you will make sure that you get the right tray with the correct setup for your Gen 8. And I also wanted to mention that if yours is a large form factor, because solid state drives are 2.5 inch, we will have the kit that has the converter or the adapter with the 3.5 inch tray to make this work for your specific chassis. All 
right, so now what we're gonna do is show you how to test with a cool tool we like called HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now, and as you can see, we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. Like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%, so all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful, and if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom-built server, or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock, so you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.